In the last video, we looked at naming acyclic ethers using the IUPAC system. In this video, we're going to focus on the common names that are assigned to these ethers. The common names are historical names that date way back, long predating the IUPAC nomenclature system, and many of these names are still in use today, so it's important to be familiar with them. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we name acyclic ethers using the common nomenclature system. Using the common nomenclature system, which by the way is only really applicable toward very simple ethers, because what we are going to do is refer to them using the template alkyl, alkyl ethers, where those two terms that I've filled in as alkyl, alkyl as our template, refer to the identities of the two alkyl groups that are directly bonded to the oxygen. So for example, propyl, methyl, ethyl, isopropyl, isobutyl, etc. So these are the two identities of the alkyl groups that come off of the oxygen. So let's take a look at an example problem or two here to illustrate this. So in this example, we'll start with an ether that has a methyl group directly bonded to the ether oxygen and an ethyl group directly bonded to that. In order to name these using the current common system of nomenclature, what we do is list them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to add that little annotation up here that you list the two alkyl groups in alphabetical order. So listing methyl and ethyl in alphabetical order, we're going to say this is ethyl, methyl, ether as the common name for this. Keep in mind the IUPAC name for this would have been methoxyethane. So ethyl methyl ether is the common name equivalent of that. We can look at some other possibilities as well here. For example, if we did this, on one hemisphere, we have a methyl group. On the other, a tert-butyl group. So alphabetizing those, ignoring the term tert, it would be tert-butyl, methyl, ether. And again, putting those in alphabetical order, just as a reminder, tert, since it's a hyphenated term, is not included in the alphabetization scheme. So we start with butyl, methyl ether, B comes before M, so that's why we put it in that order. There is another common acronym that goes along with this particular compound. It used to be a common additive in gasoline that was called MTBE, which is a bit out of alphabetical order because that stands for methyl tert-butyl ether. Um, is the acronym that was assigned to this name. That's just a fun fact. You don't need to be aware of the acronym there, but you should be able to take these various types of structures that have simple alkyl groups bonded to them and refer to them or recognize them by their common name. And the alkyl groups that you will see here are alkyl groups that go by the common names that indicate linear branches such as methyl, ethyl, propyl, etc., or our list of common other alkyl groups such as isopropyl, isobutyl, tert-butyl, sec-butyl, and isopentyl and neopentyl. So be ready for that if you run into some common names of acyclic ethers, you should be able to recognize those.